All right, this is third grade, module five, lesson 27, and we are going to begin the process of understanding equivalent fractions, and we're going to be doing it using uh, visual representations. So in this problem, it says eight students share two pizzas, and here they are, that are the same size, which are represented by the two circles below. There you go. They notice that the first pizza is cut into four equal slices. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. That doesn't look totally equal, but pretty close. And the second is cut into eight slices. So let's do that. So that's going to be, I'm going to start by cutting it into four equal slices, and then I'm going to cut each one of those in half. So there's our eight equal slices. How can the eight students share the pizzas equally without cutting any of the pieces? That's going to be the tricky part. How can the eight students share the pizzas without cutting each of the pieces? So let's draw our eight people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's our eight kids. And they're supposed to be sharing these pieces equally. Well, if we look up here, see this piece right here? And I'm going to see if I can do it in, oh, let's do green, and let's make it, yeah, green. Okay, and let's make it kind of thick. All right, there. So, there. See that piece right there? That big piece is equal to these two pieces. So one big piece, one fourth, and by the way, we can write that in, that that is one fourth, is equal to these two over here. This is an eighth, and this is an eighth. So one fourth is equal to two eighths right here. And we can see that there's one, two, three fourths over here. So let's. There's another one right there, and another one right here, and another one right there. So we've got four pieces over here. And then way over here, we can kind of see those same four pieces showing up. We can see that these two pieces. And then these two pieces. And then lastly, these two pieces. So we've got, let's see, we've got an eighth here and an eighth here. And that equals this fourth. And then we've got an eighth here and an eighth here. And that equals this fourth. Then we've got an eighth and an eighth. And that equals a fourth. And so now we can see that there's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So that's how we can share with these eight kids. Each kid gets the same amount. Woohoo, woohoo, and woohoo. Each kid gets the same amount. It just so happens that these four kids, they each get a fourth, while these four kids each get two eighths which is equal to the same amount of pizza. All right, when the whole is the same, why does it take four copies of one-tenth to equal two copies of one-fifth? And we're supposed to draw a model. So what I'm going to do is, teachers, parents, we're not showing students the official standard method for um, showing that two fractions are equivalent. Right now, we're just letting students draw and experience things with uh, visual aids. So we're going to start by drawing two holes identical. Identically. There. Now the first part says four copies of one-tenth. All right, so we're going to start with this first tape diagram, and we're going to cut it into ten equal size pieces. Now, how did I do that? I began by cutting it in half, and then I cut each half into five pieces. Five over here, five over here, that makes ten. That's a nice, easy way to cut things into tenths. 
and then four copies of one tenth. So there's one tenth, there's one tenth, there's one tenth, and there's one tenth. And then down here, we're going to draw two copies of one fifth. So that means we're going to take this whole thing and cut it into five equal sized pieces. So roughly, there's our five equal pieces, pretty close. And we can see that this is one fifth. And then it says, and this is one fifth. So there's our two copies of one fifth. So here is our four copies of four tenth of one tenth. Here's our two copies of one fifth, and they are equal. You can see that these guys are perfectly equal. Boom, right there. So draw a model to support your answer. Now, if we were to write this out, I would say, well, two fifths, two fifths is the same amount. Oops, undo as two-fifths of four-tenths. And there we go. So on this one, it says, when the whole is the same, how many eighths does it take to equal one-fourth? So the idea would be, how many eighths does it take to equal one-fourth? Now, parents and teachers, remember, at this point, uh, we are not teaching some standard algorithm. Instead, we want students to um, develop experience playing with fractions and, and kind of getting an understanding of what these fractions mean before we teach them the standard algorithm. Indeed, we are going to teach them the standard algorithm, but just not in this lesson. So right now, we're going to draw a model to support our answer. So the question is, how many eighths to equal one-fourth? So I'm going to draw two holes that are the same, the best I can with my shaky handwriting. And then I'm going to cut this first one into eighths. So I'm going to cut it in half, then I'm going to cut those in half, then I'm going to cut that, those in half. So there's eighths. And then cutting into fourths is really easy. You cut it in half, and then you cut each of those in half, and there's our fourths. So here, is one-fourth, and the question is, how many eighths does it take to equal a fourth? And we can see it takes two eighths. One eighth and one eighth perfectly lines up with one-fourth. So the answer is two eighths is equal to one-fourth. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 27, where we begin the process of understanding equivalence. Yeah.